So in this barn here holds something that was once somebody's pride and joy, holds heaps of memories, but subsequently being lost and forgotten uh, in this uh, abandoned barn. Welcome to a new episode. So as you've seen from the beginning of the video, it's a, a bit of a revisit. So I'm going to call this Revisit Sunday. <laughs> so basically we're going to go to a few old places and see if uh, the cars are there and this is going to be like the Sunday kind of episodes. There are quite a lot of people that come to this place, they, uh, they kind of miss this car in the bushes here. An old tin there, look. What is it? Don't really know. Yeah, a lot of people miss this car here. What a cool old car this is. I wonder if they got it off the road there, though. Yeah, she's been here a long time. A very long time. Too sure what emblem that is. Yeah, the engine's gone. <laughs> no engine. I don't know what car that is. If you could tell me what car that is, let us know in the old comments below. And there we go again. I've dropped my ray bands for the 15,000th time. What a cool old car. I wonder what uh, stories this old girl could could tell us. Hmm. Right then, let's uh, ow, stung again. Oh, it's got the wheel this side still, look. And a bit of a uh, the light lens. Well, not lens, but the old stainless steel surround. There you go, my old girl. You can see a little bit better now. But yeah, still got a bit of the trim. Left two stainless steel trim. That's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Proper low rider now. Four door uh, thing. I couldn't tell you what it is. I do know she's uh, well and truly foobard. <laughs> well, let's keep going. So it's been about four years since I came to this particular area. And it took me some, some time to find it really, in all honesty. Ooh. It's actually on a public footpath, so you can leisurely walk up if you really wanted to. I don't know uh, if it's worth the, the walk, because I've been walking some distance. But here we are anyway, so let's, uh, let's get in and have a look. You know, this poor Mini. Wow. Yeah, when I first came here, she had the steering wheel. She had parts of the dash, she had quite a lot of things left on her. And now she's, uh, ow. Not, not really looking very well. Still got her engine in though. Let's see if we can check the, the dipstick. This bonnet is well and truly foobard. Ow, I've been stung again. Oh, somebody ripped the, the wing like that. I'm pretty sure the dipstick probably would have been ripped out of this a long time ago. But if it hasn't, we'll have a look. Move out of the way, Stinger, please. Ow. Yeah. It's a 
surprised the cap's still on. <clears throat> I know she's a pull up, but Jesus. <sighs> I'm guessing this is a, like a little nine, nine, well, one, a 1000 cc. I can't see the dipstick though, anyway. Oh, cool. I believe this thing would, would uh, fire up with a bit of love, in all honesty. I think it would, to be fair. I mean, these leaves don't look that old, really. Obviously, they are old. It's been here for bloody generations. But, see, this is what, what intrigues me with doing this. Like I said before, this isn't like the world's best find and it's a revisit, but this is when I first started doing YouTube. I came to this place and I wasn't even interested in doing cars. I was interested in doing buildings. So it's kind of a, it's a bit of an eye, eye, an eye opener. Coming to see this now, um, it's definitely an eye opener. An eye, I guess a bloody, that's a bloody word now. That is an eye opener. Um, because it's just the story that's, that's left for, for us as explorers to kind of fill in of, of like what happened here right we'll uh we'll come back to this mini afterwards i'm gonna um have a look in the house and then there's another there's another barn here with a, a couple of cars in it and like i say it's not the best location but it's still it's still very interesting because at the end of the day it's like it's that, that age-old question what happened here <clears throat> Wow, absolutely wow. I'm so glad I come back to this place. <sighs> unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. That house is just... <sighs> so, most of the places like this, they end up this way purely because of... Um, they have no other relatives to leave the property to. They get old, they pass away, and then it falls into a state of, of uh, negligence. Then once the roof gives in, the, uh, the rain pours in, and then that's what's uh, left of this building. And in all honesty, this must have been a beautiful, beautiful house. A beautiful house. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a time capsule. I don't really like that using that word, but it's a time capsule and we're going to do a few more time capsules on this channel because at the end of the day, I'm just going to go with what everybody else goes with. It seems to work for them. So yeah, time capsule. So the first thing we look at is this old bike. The, uh, the, sp the uh, spokes are well and truly gone. This old thing has seen some miles, um, but now all it sees is the sky. Right then, that there, I'm suggesting, was a Morris. Um, she's certainly, certainly no longer doing the Morris dance anymore. She's well and truly uh, give up the uh, the ghost. And yeah, oh blind, they got an old tractor there. Look. I bet most of these things were in pristine condition when the person kind of left, uh, left this earth, or even moved somewhere abroad. I don't, I don't know the story of the place. And I think all these parts were taken off over the years. I mean, this was, this is clearly just rotted away. Old van. This is an old Bedford. I think it is an old Bedford, isn't it? Look at the bench seat in the back. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Steering wheel has been taken. Most of the other parts of the car has been taken. The van's been taken, sorry. Now this is what I want to look at. What's in here. It's uh, not, the, not the most amazing barn find. But this is a barn, in my opinion. And there's a cool find in there. Now, before we go in there, for the ones that have seen this, you know, you already know what's in there. But for the ones that haven't seen this, don't expect to be shocked because it's kind of a disappointing find but it's still a cool barn find it's still pretty cool if it's still in here that is yep there we go 
that's still pretty awesome in my in my opinion still a barn find it's a shame really because it would be nice to see this like with a roof intact in like almost pristine condition but as as you can see the roof's given in and then the, the whole of the car's just suffered suffered it's got bloody off-road tires there look on it got the radio there too look wow this roof has just collapsed God, I wonder what little what little treasures are hiding underneath this because of course it's a garage people store things in here so I reckon there's loads of retro retro little knickknacks here little treasures and whatever else <clears throat> wow yep so I know this has been done by lots of people already and I did it four years or so ago probably five years ago to be fair it's been it's one of my old 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 uh, explores but it's good to come back to see these old uh, cars still sat here. This car's probably been here for 40, 50 years, probably longer than that. I mean, whenever I think of something 20 years ago, I think of the 80s, but it's not. 20 years ago is, is 2003. So make sure it makes your eyes open, really. Um, but yeah, this poor old girl. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Is it a Morris? I'm not sure. No, it's a Riley, an old Riley look. An old Riley. Let me get my torch out one sec. Yeah, it'll give you a better look. An old Riley. Cool little badge. I'm actually shocked that that badge is still on there, really. That's a really cool badge. It's an enamel badge, too, so I'm actually shocked that that's still on there and no one's prized it off, so. Um, I wonder where the, old, the dipstick is on this old girl. Wow. Yeah, she's uh, she's flooded with the uh, um, mother nature. Oh, let's squeeze past a minute. Let's see if we can get that there cleared off. Birmingham. Did I say Birmingham? Did I say Birmingham? Does it? Yeah, Fisher and Ludlow Limited, Birmingham. Is that right? Fisher and Ludlow Limited. Hold on. I don't normally do this, but I want to have a good look at that. Can't really see. Fisher and Ludlow Limited, Birmingham. Fish, fish hello. Oh wow, that's, I've never known, I've never known anything like that before. So fish hello is a combination of Fisher and Ludlow Limited, uh, Birmingham. But it makes no sense because Ludlow's nowhere near Birmingham. So I'm guessing Fisher and Ludlow are just names. And not an actual place. Oh god. Yeah. Cool location. Oh, don't fall on me. Oh, right in the ear. That's a good uh, that's a good shot that is. A good shot. That's pretty awesome. Well, there's the bonnet there, look. So dirty. What a fantastic find. An absolute fantastic find. This is not gonna go on the road again. <laughs> but, um, it's nice to see it here. Well, it's kind of a, a, a combination of both. It's not nice to see it here rotting, but it's nice to see it here because if it wasn't here, then I wouldn't have nothing to record. So yeah, bit of a catch 22. Right then, let's go and look at the other vehicles outside in a bit more detail and then uh, and then um, go into the, the house, which is not really my thing, but uh, if everybody's doing it and it works, so I'll start doing it. These old pint glasses, proper old man pint glasses they are. It's what you, you go into the pub when you're a kid. That's what your granddad used to get. That's what his pint was uh, served in. Pint of Guinness in that old, uh, an old pint glass. Oh well, just tipped her, just chucked away. See these things are kind of, uh, I think, I don't think people would be 
would grumble if you saved one or two of these. I'm not going to, don't worry, I'm just saying. Because at the end of the day, they're just old glasses and it's better to take these home, give them a bit of a clean and use them. Because at the end of the day, the planet's reserves are being diminished out of greed. And uh, people don't reuse stuff anymore. So this here, to me, is re reusable. Give it a good clean, bleach the crap out of it and reuse it. It's a good reusable point glass. <sighs> anyway, let's put it back. It's back to sleep. There's loads of them. One, two, three, four. I mean, if you dig around, you're going to find loads of little things here that can be reused. But they won't. They'll just sit here and just do their thing. Right then, as we're here, we go and look at this uh, inside the house. Now, last time I came, the stairs had already fallen. Well, somewhat fallen. And then, uh, um, yeah, completely the roof's given in and there's, there's not a lot left in here, but here we go. Is there any homeless people in here? Wow. Oh, everything's just soggy. Cold. Oof. This place is just collapsed. There's upstairs anyway. Everything's just soggy and sodden. It's sod it's not sodden. Is it sodden? Wow, there's the staircase. Something's fell through the staircase. I hope this hasn't got a there's the stairs. Oh, there was the stairs. Cabinets come off the landing by the looks of it. Oh. And this is one of the living rooms. It's hard to tell that this once, once was a house where somebody had happy memories. There's the front door, there's the way in. Initially the way in. This place is just soaked. Absolutely soaked. Wow, so this is the living room. That somebody set fire to. Great. I mean, I'm going to try and do some of these houses. But it, I just, I don't see the appeal. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> We've got a shed in the back. Any cars out there? No. Uh, there's something out there. Yeah, I don't see the appeal. I'm just walking in soggy, soggy, soggy stuff. I would go upstairs, but there's no point because there'd be nothing up there worth looking at. And I used to do stupid stuff like that, climb up the top of the stairs when they're falling down. But at the end of the day, what was I doing? Not a lot. Oh, look at that old fridge. That's worth looking at. The kind of fridges where children used to get themselves locked in. I mean, that's still that's still worthy of a save. That is, you could turn that into something cool. Obviously, change the lock on it, but that's cool. That is, that's a proper 50s, 60s kind of fridge. What's it made by? Can't see. Oh, L E C Leck. Hmm. I mean, I scared the living shit out of myself then. I thought that was the world's biggest spider. I'm not afraid of spiders, but when one swings it behind you and catches you by guard, or catches you off guard, yeah, it's scary. It's not an awful lot to show, really, now. We've basically seen all the, all the treasures this place has to offer. Like I say, it's been four years or so since I've been here last, so it's not a place I'd, I'd do a, another visit on, to be honest. But... A little Sunday's vid goes down nicely. I know a lot of you like the Sunday's vid as well as the Saturday's vid. So, oh, go. An old tractor. An old tractor. Again, I don't know what this is. 
It might be a Massey, it might be a, a little uh, Ford. I don't think it's a Ford. I'm not kidding you. I'm not just trying to make this video seem better, but I swear I've just heard an old woman moan. I swear. Mm. What's that there? Steak and kidney pie, proper. Steak and kidney pie tin. See the tins of the of yesterday, last tins of today, out by a million miles. The thing that's sad for me is finding these types of vehicles at the point of where you know where they could be saved because i've found a lot of cars as you know with my channel because it's renowned for finding cars um I, I i often find cars at the brink of of being able to be saved and turned back but as i've done revisits over the years some of the cars i find they're just they're, they're never going to be saved and this is probably one of the hardest things about it, doing my job um i mean like these cars here for example that morris in there the paul riley in there and this i'm sure it's a bedford bedford van here these are long long gone the tractors long gone but but and i say but with a big capital b there are still things on these cars that can still be rescued and saved and repurposed for something else like most of the stainless stainless on these cars, they last forever. The stainless are, are one of the most, you know, robust materials used back in the day that outlive anything. One more quick butchers at this mini, and then we'll uh, we'll make haste and uh, escape from this uh, overgrown car killer. The carrier's kitchen. This was I'm assuming this was his, the old bird's car, the old bird's mini. Um, yeah, it is a shame in, in all honesty because, like I say, when I came to see this place first, we came from that way, which was kind of weird. It's probably the way my mate told me to go, but I couldn't find that way, so I went, I came from that direction. But yeah, so yeah, when I first came here all those years ago, this mini was fairly intact, and now she's uh, well. Let's put her lid down. There you go, girl. The old girl. That feels good, eh? Having your bonnet down. Oh, let me just sort that out. The old windy wiper. A little bit better. You probably think I'm mad, but every car has a spirit. And uh, didn't ask for this, but it's what it got. This is the thing about classic. Any car that I come across, they don't. They, it wasn't their choice to be parked and forgotten and vandalized and destroyed. Uh, it was just what happened. So, yeah, yeah. Right then, so I hope you like this, this video, this little Sunday video. Uh, I'm going to go to a few more locations today. And we're going to get back onto the car thing. Um, I hope it's not a little too late, but whatever. Um, we're going to get back into the car thing. So from me, Stokesy, thank you for watching. Remember, don't limit yourself. And as always, keep car hunting or whatever you do enjoy doing, keep doing it. And I'll see you on the next one. Yes.